Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I picked up during the month of May, so stick around. So I wanted to take time to go over all of the titles that I picked up during the month of May. Um, there were quite a few titles, not as much as usual, um, but still plenty to kind of showcase. Um, so first up, I've got this director spotlight. This right here is something that Mill Creek put out. It's got these two films on it, Castle Keep and um, Bobby Deerfield. I'm not familiar with either one of these, but as you can see, it's got Burt Lancaster and Al Pacino. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking these out. And then MVD Rewind uh, <clears throat> actually had some releases come out. So we have Sabotage with the MVD Rewind collection with the slip, which of course I enjoy those. And we finally got the release for Joysticks. Um, there was an issue of the previous release and retailers were supposed to hold off on sending these out because there was a replacement disc that needed to be taken care of. Um, so I finally got my order for that. And also I got my um, Hardware Wars order, which I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Now Kino Lorbra also put out some great things the first week and throughout the month. So we have Fletch, Fletch Lives, Secret Beyond the Door. We have this 4K release for High Noon, which I've never seen before. I, I love a good Western, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking that one out. Um, screen, um, Shout Factory actually put out a collector's edition for the Adams Family 1 and 2 on 4K with a slipcover. I think this is from Shout Factory um, or Screen Factory. It says Shout. Um, also from Kino Lorber, we got Monk Season 6. So we're getting through the seasons pretty quickly. But glad that they're doing that. One of the big releases for the first week um, of May was The Crow on 4K. So I did pick up the slipcover edition. I got this steelbook edition with the art cards from the UK. And I also got this slipcover edition. I did unwrappings of those if you'd like to check those videos out. Um, for 101 Films, we have issue number 35 with Mansion of the Doomed. Not familiar with this one, but nice to have it added to the collection. And then I think from the UK, I did get the Garbage Pills Movie Kid media book, which I'm very happy to have. And then from A24, we got this nice big Stop Making Sense release. This is on 4K, exclusive to their website. So those are all of the titles that I got during the first week of May. Okay, during the second week of May, um, we got The Island of Dr. Moreau, um, collector's edition with the slipcover. Really love the artwork on this. I've never seen this movie before. And we also got um, Orphan, collector's edition with this beautiful looking slipcover. So those are from Screen Factory. Um, from Warner Archive Collection, we did get Scooby-Doo, um, Zombie Island, and Return to Zombie Island on Blu-ray. Very happy to have those. Um, from Mubi, I did get The Settlers. I do like collecting the Mubi releases with the slips. So very happy to have that one. And then on Blu-ray, I got um, Nori Yang, Deadly Sea from Well Go USA with the slip. Then we had this release for Imaginary. I never did see this one. Haven't heard too many great things about it, but I will definitely um, watch that sometime soon, hopefully. From Kino Lorber, I got Thunder in the East with a slip. Submarine Command with a slip. From Arrow, I got NARC with this particular slip cover. It's a 4K release, so very happy to have that. Um, another 4K release was for American Sniper, so I got it with a slip. And I also got the Steelbook Edition and the UK Edition box set. Which I believe has the same still book in it but with some art cards and maybe some extras. Another big release for the second week of May was Dune Part 2. So I did get the 4K release. I got the two film collection release with this different artwork on the slip and I got the still book release. And then Walmart had an exclusive still book release for the first Dune movie. 
And also they did a release for Mad Max Fury Road with a 4K still book. So I did unwrappings of those if you'd like to check those out. Now from Studio Canal, I got the 4K release for The Dreamers. This has not been released here in the States, so I wanted to pick that one up. We got Once Upon a Time in the West. This right here is a Paramount Presents release with number 44 on the spine. And then I got Queen Rock Montreal Live Aid with this 4K release. This is a very thin case, so it'll fit on the shelf nicely. If all, if all cases were like this, then I would never run out of room. And then from Walmart, I got the Gate Blu-ray Steelbook release and also the Layer of the White Warm Steelbook release. So I did unwrappings of those if you'd like to check those out. Okay, during the third week, that was another big week. We got a lot of releases. We did get the 4K release for Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I'm from Screen Factory, Shot Factory. So really nice looking slip cover. And also a gorgeous looking still book that I did an unwrapping for. If you would like to check that out. Um, from Kino Lorber, I got horror, the um, Republic Pictures Horror Collection with a slip. We got the Phil Vance Collection. Daisy Miller. Back from the Dead. Big Man on Campus, and also The Lawyer. So, Kino Lorber's really been cranking out the releases here lately. Um, kind of hard to keep up with. Um, but I did get the American Hustle 4K Steelbook release. Really enjoyed this film, so very happy to have that. I did do an unwrapping of that if you'd like to check it out. Um, I also purchased Thunderheart. This right here was a recommendation. I grabbed that. We go on. Coup de Chance is another one that was recommended I check out. Um, really looking forward to checking that one out. And then The Cleanse. So not very familiar with this one. Um, it's got Johnny Galecki in it. And I do believe someone had recommended that I pick that one up. Okay, from 88 Films, I got Count Dracula 4K release with a slip. I got Jackie Chan in Fearless Hyena Part 2. I think that's what that says. And also the Body Stealers with this really nice looking slip. And Hanny Calder with this slip. And then also this film. I'm not even sure what the title of that is, but I did pick that one up. I do like to collect the 88 films titles with slip covers. That may be something that I might need to slow down on because I'm never going to be able to watch all of these films, so I really need to quit buying them. Some other releases that I got, I got Dead Wrong. I think this is, yeah, this is a Mill Creek release. From Terror Vision, I got the Nail Gun Massacre with a slip. An old Kung Fu Master with a slip. Satanic with a slip. And then from Studio Canal, I got Source Code 4K with this slip. So that was all of the titles during the third week. So for the fourth week, I got Sasquatch Sunset. Um, I saw the trailer for this one while I was watching a movie in the theater. It looked kind of weird. I haven't really heard many people talking about it, um, but I'm definitely going to check that out. I also got Creation of the Gods, um, Kingdom of Storms. This right here is with a slip cover. From Well Go USA, I do like collecting those. Really nice looking slips. And I also got Arthur the King on um, Blu-ray release. Saw that one in the theater. I enjoyed it. I wanted a little bit more out of it, but still an enjoyable film. Um, we did get a release for Star Trek 3, The Search for Spock. I did an unwrapping of the still book if you'd like to check that out. And we also got a Batman still book release on 4K. Great looking artwork. I did an unwrapping of this. I do hope that they continue this and do all the others. From Arrow Video, I got the Crimson Peak 4K release box set. And I also got the Long Good Friday with the Arrow Store exclusive slip. And from Indicator, I got the Columbia Noir number six, the Whistler. So I do have all of the Columbia Noir um, box sets. So very happy that I was able to get this one. Um, I think that it was selling pretty quickly. 
Now on 4K, I got Kung Fu Panda 4. Didn't get to see this one in the theater. So happy to have that. And apparently I had pre-ordered this a long time ago. Kung Fu Panda 4. Kung Fu Panda 4 with some with a gallery book. So that was a surprise to see that. Um, I also ordered I also picked up One Love 4K release. And also the still book. I did watch this one. I enjoyed it, but I was really wanting more of a I don't know, this kind of focused on one part of um, Bob Marley's life. I kind of wanted an overall biopic, um, but still this was an enjoyable film. I did get um, some items in from Vinegar Syndrome. I got Mom and Pop with a slipcover. So I was happy that I was able to get that. And also I got The Tunnel and The Tunnel the Other Side of Darkness with a slipcover. Um, so happy to have that. I'm still waiting on another order from Vinegar Syndrome. Actually, I'm waiting on two other orders. I do apologize for the delay in this video. Usually I try to put this video out um, the first day of the month or the end of the previous month. But I've been waiting on so many orders to come in. But I didn't want to have to wait any longer. Um, but from Kino Lorber, I got Revenge of the Ninja with a slip. Monk Season 7 with a slip. Sci-Fi Chillers Collection, and also Cry Baby on 4K. So very happy to have those. So those are all of the titles that I picked up during the month of May. So, like I said, it's quite a few titles, um, but it has been a little bit of a struggle trying to keep up with everything. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to continue keeping up as much as I can um, during the month of June and July. I don't really know exactly what else is coming out during these two months. But hopefully I'll be able to get the items that I want. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the pickups that I did during the month of May. And also let me know some of the pickups that you were able to pick up. Because I really do enjoy reading your comments. But thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And we will see you next time.